All right, so with this Tanabata celebration, there is the question of what EZAs are we exactly going to be able to see? I mean, so far we do have one confirmed EZA that is already looking very strong and is related to this banner that came out. Now, usually Dokkan drops these Dokkan festival like um, banners related to a category. So like last month, we got the Super Bosses Dokkan Festival. Well, we saw Physical Goku Black there, for example, STR Kefla, right? Some of the Universe 6 EZAs were featured on the banner. Um, not every character on the banner will Super EZA or EZA. But uh, it gives us a good clue on who we can expect to see in terms of EZAs. And this banner is no different here. So, I mean, we're going to hop right in here. I'll just show you the banner real quick here. These are the cast of characters that is listed here on this banner. Now, first and foremost, again, we do know that Android 17 is getting their Extreme Z Awakening literally within, like, how, how, how many hours is it? It's, like, about... It's, uh, I, I can't count the exact moment. 15 hours? Yeah, it is 15 hours and a half. Well, about 16 hours. But you guys get the point, right? Uh, by the time this video is up, it's going to be like about 15 hours or so. Uh, that the 17 Team Universe 7 does go live. This looks like a very powerful EZA. I will, yeah, I'll be live tonight doing the EZA. It's only 10 stages and we'll try to do some of these showcases live as well. Um, so that's going to be fun, fun, fun. But yeah, this character looks absolutely crazy easily. Like I could see them in top 10 LRs. Um, <laughs> they're really good with the amount of support and damage reduction they have. Uh, they're giving multi-turn support here, which this is a pretty powerful effect. They want to be ran on the best team in the game, pretty much. But it's like, you know, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, oh, I have to run them on the best team in the game. Oh, no, guys. What am I going to do? Right? Um, so, yeah, that's fun. Right? You know, these guys, very, very good, good character. Um, next, we have LR, Golden, Frieza, and 17 here. Now, the thing about this character is I think they also have a really good shot of easing. I mean, this character... These two came out at the same time, and this is prominently featured on the banner. I would be really surprised if this guy does not get an EZA. I mean, I know I said that with the um, with the Boo Saga, Goku and Vegeta, the Dual Rokan Festival. I think it was New Year's of 2019, I think. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'd be surprised if they did an EZA. But like this guy, like even more because of the fact that he's actually on a banner. It, it, it was closer to what I said, like, oh, imagine if Physical Goku Black does an EZA. It's like there's no way that he's not going to easy, I feel like. So I think this Golden Frieza and 17 actually are also going to be really, really good. I mean, I, I will bring up a literal example of a character that had an extremely, extremely similar passive to this guy. And that is the Int Blue Evolution Vegeta. Where is this guy? Is he right here? No, it's the uh, this guy right here. The thing about this guy is that he had 10% reduction starting off. Then he built up to 30 per, uh, an additional 30% for a total of 40% with each attack he received. Then post EZ, they just sort of like, yeah, we'll just give him 50% reduction here. Then he builds up to 80% damage reduction with each attack he receives. Or evades. He could dodge, theoretically, actually. They did add that portion, which is pretty cool. Um, now, this Golden Freeze and 17 are very similar in the fact that they get 7% reduction with each attack they perform. Um, that also builds up to four times for a total of... I think it's 28% reduction, which is definitely not as, not nearly as much as what this, or even like even this, right? It was not nearly as much as that. So that's a thing, right? Um, that they only build up to that 28% reduction if they got the hidden potential system additional as well. And it's like, yeah, great chance of launching up to two additional attacks. That means that the second additional that they do wasn't even guaranteed. So how that works is that the first additional, if I'm assuming, if I'm right, uh, the first additional is guaranteed and the second additional is a 70% chance, I think, right? That's how Physical Vegeta Blue worked, but maybe for this guy, man, maybe it is just like 70% on each of those additionals. So what this has to be is this has to be guaranteed to, ad to attacks and they be great chance to be supers, I think is what they should change this to. Um, or it could even be one additional guaranteed super attack and then a second addition with a high chance to be super. That's fine as well. As long as the two additional attacks are consistent, that's great to me. Um, this guy does have debuff. I do like the debuffs here. So... Honestly, just make this raise attack and defense for the turn, lowers attack and defense, greatly raise attack and defense for the turn, and then also just lower attack and defense, right? I, I don't think I see the issue there. 
at all um with doing that you maybe even if they don't give these guys a debuff here but i think having both of these super attack effects give defense and then having them raise defense there is ideal obviously and probably going to be like three q one seventy percent attack and defense then obviously they do build up to the extra seven key and then seventy percent attack and defense maybe make this ten percent here and then this will be um because this is 10 attacks here so i don't know maybe it can even be 20 percent, and then this builds up to like 150 percent stats or something like that that's fine as well obviously key to seven maybe key two up to key seven would be fine seven percent crit chance and seven percent reduction i mean i guess it could be a thing where they have like a high chance to create and high chance to dodge no high chance to create high and 50 percent reduction then they build this up so then that would be 78% reduction and 78% crit chance once they're fully built up at the end. I think that's pretty good. I think that, that, that would be pretty good. Maybe it could be 40%, right? If they don't want to make it as strong. And then in that situation, it would be 68% crit chance and 68% damage reduction, I believe, right? Which would also be fine. Um, either way, I, I think like it, giving them the high amount of reduction makes a lot of sense. I mean, they literally blow like 17 literally blows himself up, right? So, you know, <laughs> this active skill could also be very good. Now, I guess this condition would be super easy to get now, which is why maybe it could be two additionals with a great chance to be super so that you, you don't always get it. But, um, this probably will be a lot easier to get post CZA unless they don't change this. But I just feel like it's going to be like, it's not like uh, how do i explain it i feel like keeping these normal additionals is not really something that commonly happens post eza i think there is one time where it's a thing where they actually just like added it to the character but uh besides that now so i mean i think this guy could be wonderful a uh, really really good option i think for these teams i am quite excited to see what these guys as eza will be and again i'm 99 percent sure they're gonna eza maybe we could even see the details this week and because there's a data download this week so i guess it's theoretical that we can see their easy info um which i won't be here to cover because i'll be at anime expo but um besides that yeah okay next off we have a uh, not blue illusion but you know you're an easy aid uh ago krillin now i don't expect they're gonna like super easy as to goku so we're gonna skip this guy 17 i also do not expect he's gonna get a super easy a that just doesn't make sense to me it just doesn't like line up i think in my opinion like why it, like, there's so many other super easy a options that we can get before this guy so it just doesn't make sense for me to see that so yeah Anyways, uh, Ageo Krillin here is the next featured character. Um, and the thing about this Ageo Krillin is he already has some pretty decent stuff built in. Again, he lowers attack. He has a chance to stun. He has a medium chance to dodge. I mean, this effect against all types doesn't really do much, right? Because the enemy has to be stunned. And it's like effective. It's more so effective against all types. It's like a decent thing. I um, mean, you know, we'll take it. He does also want... 18 in the same turn which could be a little difficult i mean again like a tournament of power 18 specifically like this is the um this is the best one right you know i mean there's some other easies we can get like maybe this character we'll talk about them in a bit uh that aren't on the banner but um yeah no i think that maybe making an 18 on the team would be ideal or if there's some other condition besides 18. I mean, <laughs> if they make it like 18 in the turn or Goku on the team or something, it's like, oh, wow, you know, that's an extremely easy condition to get. Um, if this is like maybe even like when attacking, they change this to when attacking, when there's 18 or Goku on the team or something like that, that'd be awesome. This has to be like a high chance to dodge, 100%. Like they, they should make that high chance to dodge. Or maybe it's like a medium chance to dodge, then another 30% chance to dodge in here that would be cool um what else could they get this guy i mean defense raise for the turn on super attack maybe he can get some sort of additional uh, i think there's ways that they can make this Krillin really good right he's mostly a dodge character and again he's a sub easy so i don't expect him to be too too good but i do think that he will be quite useful throughout the uh game potentially seeing that how the other sub easy ended up being so that's cool, right? You know, this guy did come out with the Blue Cowkin and Evolution Vegeta. So I'm excited to see what this character could be post EZA. Because, you know, it's been a while since we've had like a really, really good Krillin. I guess we got the STR Krillin last year, which was the mounting unit for 23rd World Tournament Goku. It was good, but, you know, I think we can get another Krillin at this point. Uh, that Krillin, you know, 
Apollo's ninth anniversary. It's okay. Maybe right? there's nothing crazy anymore. Uh, next we have Shape Up Boo, which is the next character here. Now this Shape Up Boo, um, he was really good on release. At this point, eh, right. I think what they need to do for this guy easily make this just a great chance to dodge. Who cares? Make him get stats after dodging, and then that build up to like multiplicative stats on top of this. Maybe he could um have a like a. I see this guy as like a character that would have like three or six turns attack and defense raise this chance of stun maybe could be made into a high chance of stun maybe he gets something for Majin power i don't know he is on universe 7 reps which is funny even though he didn't actually participate in the tournament he is on the representatives of universe 7 category and i will take that uh for sure so i don't know beyond this i mean this guy's kit is very very bold it's like hard to tell like you know a lot of times we can kind of tell like okay they should tweak this part or they should tweak this part but for this kit i'm like you know it's very basic just what they need to add to this guy and you know i feel like he already has like even for a basic kit he already has places where i could see where he could become better but uh, they could, from here, just add anything they really want. Like, you know, what they could give this guy a scouter or something if they really wanted to. Like, just a random a scouter or something. Who knows? Um, but, yeah. Next, we have this Piccolo. And he's even more like that. Where, I, I don't know what they're going to do with this guy. But I think he'll use hey because he's on this banner. I mean, this guy's a 2017 character without an EZA. That's actually insane. Now, this guy's actually from the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament, right? And he's not in the tournament of power specifically. He is in the U6, U7 tournament. So, I mean, okay, well, he greatly raised attack for the turn. Just slap defense on there. Get rid of this HP condition. We don't really need HP conditions anymore. Or maybe he can get like 100... 50% attack and even start a turn, then this under 80% HP is fine, right? I mean, uh, maybe he gets additionals. He has the clone special beam cannon, so it's like he could. How does that even look, actually? Let me let me bring a look here. Could I look up Piccolo somehow? Like, if we can go to the Mechans category, how does that look? Because obviously, we could, like, it does it actually show the clones? I believe it does actually show the clones, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, let's just see this real quick here. I should bring up the clones. Yeah, so like he could have like, ugh, dude, he's so many clones. He could have like additional attacks that have a high chance to be super or a great chance to be super, right? That that'd be cool, right? To just kind of play with the fact that he has the clones, right? Do all the new special beam cannons. That'd be pretty cool. Um, beyond that, uh, I don't know. He has first awaken, which is really interesting. Yeah, giving him first awaken. And again, this is like a showing of how he is so old, because like who gets these this link anymore like the newest character with this link was super sane for bardock but his ssr came out like before then so i think it was um i think it was agl bardock who was like quote unquote the newest character with this link sure you know um from here in terms of the universe 7 team who else could get an easy a I mean, at this point, all these LRs are getting their easy A's already. I think that we could see these two potentially get an easy A. This Tech 18 and this Tech 17. I think them getting easy A could be really good. The 17 has 50% attack for six turns. So this could end up being 50% attack and defense for six turns. Just like Physical Rubian was changed to 60%. Uh, no, 50% attack and defense for the multiple turns. Now, here, I don't know what they'll do. He's kind of a nuking character. He has to make his orbs. Back in the day, the idea was like, oh, you run 17 and 18 together. You give all the tech orbs to 17, and then 18 gets all the rest of the orbs after this. 18 having the 30% th uh, for six turns was actually pretty good. It made her age pretty well as well, actually, because he also, again, ended up changing her own orbs. So even using her without 17, like 17 wanted 18, but uh, 18 worked fine just on her own. I mean, again, I'm fine with the nuking kind of passive. 17 should just also change her, his own orbs. Make him get like a... Sh like, it should be 15% attack and defense for any other orb. Then 30% when he gets a tech orb. I think that'd be fine. Then 18. Maybe they can even cover the same thing. Uh, that'd be cool with me as well. Like 70% attack and defense when attacking. Maybe they'll get something when there's another... like. 18 with their 17 on rotation and then 17 with their 18 on rotation could work well with the um lr universe 7 could work well with the 
what's it called, into 1718 Dokkan Fest that came out. Which I'm surprised that these guys did not EZA during that celebration. Uh, they should have, right? I mean, they came out 2018, you see here, their awakenings. And I think the SSRs came out earlier. No, it did not. Did the SSR 17 come out earlier? No, they did. It came out, yeah, the 17 SSR came out in September of 2017. Whew, that's a long time ago. Um, Looking back here, I mean, not really besides this guy. I think that this Angel Frieza is a has a good shot of getting an EZA. He's not on the banner, but I, I feel like he could get an Extreme Z Awakening still. I have a suspicion, by the way, that we're going to get another one of these banners like halfway through the celebration. Like for a, sort of in relation to the Part 2 LR. I think like, you know, even by like the 16th, 17th, whatever. Because the Part 2 LR drops in the 18th. So like this week or even literally in that same day, I think we could see another type of banner like this where we see more characters that would easy a maybe this Frieza will be featured. Maybe the 17 and 18 will be featured there. Like maybe it'll be like a universe survival saga one rather than just the um, universe 17. And then we could have like tech LR Jiren on there, right? Either way, I think um, this Frieza would be a crazy good support unit because, well, not even just support, just a unit in general, right? Seal super attack right here. He has the medium chance to dodge with this high chance to dodge. He has the multi turn debuff, which is really cool. Uh, this makes this one of the they just add defense there, right? And it's like he stacks defense into a massive attack and defense raise. Make this reduction just like not. A three restricted at all. I think just make it fifty percent reduction. That's an easy thing that they can change. Um, great chance to stun is cool. Maybe they could keep the debuff here somehow. I mean, this guy had already pretty good multiplicative stats. Like back in the day, these this multiplicative stat plus this massive attack raise was crazy. He hit so hard back in the day when he transformed to Angel Frieza or Golden Frieza, right? Uh, and the thing about this guy is they could transform him whenever you want, which is awesome it's such a good condition and can leave you like really open to um doing whatever you want really which is awesome beyond this in terms of super easy a's i mean there are technically a couple of options my opinion is that the egl blue cow can goku is gonna easy a i think this guy is like 99% sure this guy's gonna easy this blue cow can goku I should not have closed the universe 7 team tab i should have kept that open in fact i should have also kept the um the extreme z battle tab open as well but again we'll come over here to representatives universe 7 again this age of blue cow and goku i think has a good try getting an easy a or a super easy a specifically he has the 10 turns like run but i think after like he, you're not gonna even reach that i think 10 turns is something you won't really see too often this is cool for like the final burst. Maybe they could even make this starting earlier. Like 59% attack and defense and then performs a critical hit starting for the ninth turn. Maybe make that starting from the seventh turn. And then um I don't know if this I don't know I don't actually know if this stays for the rest of the battle. But like make it like starting for the seventh turn for the rest of the battle, he gets this ability. It does kind of suck where it's like, you know, maybe him getting the crit on like turn seven. It's like, well, maybe you'll, you'll, maybe some people will want to bet him with crit. <laughs> It'd be nice if he just has the crit right there, uh, early on. So that maybe it could be interesting to see how they handle that. Maybe like he could build up the crit every turn, right? So it's like 20% chance to crit and 20% attack each turn from the start of turn until he gets to that final turn there. And he has guaranteed crit essentially. That'd be cool. I think that'd be kind of interesting. Maybe if they do something like that. Um, I mean, they could just add like 30% defense stacking here would be cool. Oh, actually, no, they don't change super attack effects, huh? Yeah, that kind of sucks a little, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, this guy might be more of an offensive character for sure. This makes sense to me. People are saying maybe in UI Goku gets a super easy. A. I just, I just, I don't see it. Like, where's this guy? He's all the way down here. I, it's not impossible. But I don't see it. I don't see this guy getting an easy yet or a super easy yet. Same at 17. I think that they'll just get Blue Cow and Yoku out of the way, but we'll just have to see. I mean, it'd be crazy if they super easy like 17, <laughs> like physical 17 again. And they're like, yeah, no, we're just going to super easy this guy. There's no way that it happens, but it'd be really funny. 
Anyways, I'm done here. Let me know what you guys think. I'm in the video. And let me know who you want to see easy as well. I should have said that at the beginning. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll catch you guys in the next video.